Hi everyone, my name is Francesca and I work for the Marine Conservation Society. Today I'm going to show you a couple of quick and simple science experiments that you can do at home. I'm sure you've all heard about or learnt about global warming, but if you haven't, it's simply because of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide and methane that are present in our Earth's atmosphere that cause the heat from the sun to get trapped inside, which heats the Earth up. Now lots of different things happen when the earth heats up but one thing in particular is that the ice on earth melts. Um, so I'm going to show you an experiment now to demonstrate how sea levels on earth are rising because the ice is melting. Now this particular experiment is showing you how ice on land melts causing a rise in sea level rather than just ice in the sea like icebergs. Now the problem with rising sea levels is that any place any countries that have got coastline close to the sea will end up being flooded. experiment you should have seen that the ice cubes melted off the land, ran into the sea and caused the level to rise and you should have been able to see this from the two red lines that were marked on the side of the bowl. Now an interesting experiment for you to try at home would be what happens if the ice isn't on land and it is just like an iceberg. So for this all you'd need is a, a bowl that you half fill with water, put in a handful of ice cubes and then mark the level of the water on the side of the bowl with a felt tip or um, some tape or a sticker and then leave it to melt. When you come back to it you should see that the result for your experiment is very different to what happened in mine. Try and have a think why that might be but it should explain why sea level rise is only associated to ice that is melting off land and not from the sea. Now there are other problems associated with sea ice melting and try and have a think what that might be as well. My job at MCS is a chemical pollution specialist, so I'm interested in any chemical pollution that affects the marine environment or its animals. So one thing that relates melting sea ice and chemicals is that some chemical pollutants can actually travel around the oceans and they can end up in the Arctic or the Antarctic and actually freeze into the sea ice. So when the ice melts because of global warming, the um, pollutants are released back into the environment. So I've done another quick experiment that you can also try at home that involves melt, um, freezing um, some water with different things inside like seeds or different coloured dyes that will represent chemicals. And then when you put them into a bowl of water and they melt, you'll see that the chemicals are re-released into the environment. <laughs> Try adding different things to your ice cubes to see what happens. Remember though that molecules of chemicals are very small and they're invisible in the sea and the ice, so this was only to represent what it could look like if they weren't invisible. If you look on our website we've written about a group of chemicals called PFAS, which are one of the types of chemicals that can migrate around the ocean and get, and get um, frozen into the sea ice. I hope you've enjoyed these couple of experiments and I hope you're excited to give them a go yourself and maybe even do some research into other chemical pollutants that affect marine life. <laughs>